All right, I'm gonna run through how to put on the uh, strut tower brace. This is the SR strut tower brace for uh, the New Edge Mustang. All right, first you gotta remove these wipers, all right? You gotta pull them back. Get a little tab here, pull that tab, and I just wiggle it until it comes off, okay? And do the same thing for that one. All right, after you get the wipers off, you got this foam piece here, you gotta peel this up. See it good. And then there's gonna be, they're not in, but see that hole right there? There's these little clips that go in there. You gotta pop them out. All right, and I think there's one. Once you get all this off. There's one, two in the middle here, and then there's a third one over there on that end there. Okay, so there's three of them you have to get off. Okay, and then next. Okay, and then I took a 9 30 seconds bolt, <clears throat> and there's five bolts or six of them. One, two, three, four, five, and there's one down there. Six. Okay, and what I did was when I put this strut tower brace in, before I took all this out, I laid this in place and I took a red pencil. You can kind of see the red still there. Oh, my fingers all busted up. The red's still there, okay? That's from what I drew on this plastic piece here, the outline, because you're gonna have to cut out that portion of where this bracket lays against the firewall, okay? And you're gonna have to mark it, all right? So once you take this out, you take these screws out, okay? Take that, this foam piece off, take this cowl off, and these cows are pieces of shit. Um, I broke mine, and I already ordered a new one, and they are not cheap to replace. If you want the original one, they're like $200 on American Muscle, or you can get uh, the cheap knockoff for like 25 bucks on Amazon, two piece. And it's, it's all right. It's way better than 200 bucks for the cow. Um, so, and then you take all that off. Okay, and then you gotta watch out here. You got this wire here. You got this wire here, you're gonna have to push this down and it's gonna ride below. All right, you gotta push this down and it, this wire, just make sure it's below it, it's gonna ride right above it. See the wire right there, okay? And then this goes. And then once you get all this out, mock this up in place, okay? I don't wanna go crazy because you gotta drill into the uh, tower braces. So it's got Three bolts on each tower. I I, I put two because I just didn't want to drill all three. So I mocked up here and I took that red pencil and I just circled where it had to go. One there. There's one down there. If you can see, it's kind of dark. All right. Um, this little module on clips here slides out and gets out of your way so you can drill. Okay. You can see the clip. It's down there. The clip. Just take a flathead, stick it in there, and pull the bracket off, okay? Uh, for this other side here, you can see it's pretty clear. All right, so I just drilled one here, and I drilled one here. After you drill them, you know, you got exposed metal. This car doesn't see winter or really much rain at all, but I did uh, hand paint with a brush, some Rust-Oleum, uh, a coating on the inside of the of the holes just just to add an extra protection um, and I did them on the inside of there and so once you draw your little mock-up with your pencil of where all the holes go then drill them all out okay once you get them all drilled if you want to touch them up with a little paint on the inside you can and then uh, and then you're pretty much ready for install all right when it was time for reassembly um, I had these bolts they were uh, five eighths with a, a washer, and on the other side was a locking washer with a nut, and that was eleven sixteenths for the uh, nut. And I put the bolt here, and then I had to jack the car up and 
take like a double three inch extension to reach up with a long socket to bolt it in okay and then i had to do this bolt here i had to use the socket but on the inside i had to use the an open end to tighten it up okay and it was the same for the other side too the same thing i used a uh, two three inch extensions with a long socket to get the the top bolt right there and then the side bolt there i had to use an open end in the well with the socket on the outside for these here the two bolts here i ran in I, you can see I, I ran them in the other way okay it was just a little easier for me to bolt up um you could do it either way it doesn't matter all right and that i used uh sockets on both ends to bolt them together and then once it was installed, okay, then I could put a, I had to cut the plastic piece, the lines I notched out around it, I had to cut that out, and then I slid that in, bolted it up, and then I put this on top, and then bolted all the strut tower brace on top of that. So you have to put this black piece in first, I would recommend putting that part in against the firewall in first, then installing the strut tower brace, and then putting everything back together. Now, for all the work involved with installing this strut tower brace, it was a bit of a bitch for uh, doing all this. And I broke the cow. So, if you are not an angel with that cow, it is a bitch to get out because it's got a bunch of clips along here. Like, uh, I think there's one, two, three, four, five clips. You got to kind of shove uh, like uh, one of those molding tools underneath it and pop it up and then you got to disconnect the uh the washer line for your uh windshield washers to even take this cow out of the way but in the long scheme of things i mean you see what it looks like and for anyone who has any questions or whatever you know just shoot me a comment and i'll do my best because this is what i did